everyone welcome back in this video we'll be talking about insecure design which is a new category for 2021 in 2017 this place was taken by xml external entities which is also known as xxe so as you can see in 2017 the fourth place was uh, taken by uh, external entities whereas uh, in 2021 it was taken by insecure design which is a new one so because of a few parameters it has been secured fourth position right so what is exactly uh insecure design insecure design is a broad category representing different uh, weaknesses expressing the missing and ineffective control design so here i'll be not using ppt instead of that i'll be explaining scenarios mentioned in OWASP website seeing that let's go ahead and start so let's start the first scenario let's consider uh, we have a uh, web app right web app in which uh, we have to log in let's say in which you have to have username and password and we'll be also having a box where it will be mentioning forgot password right so basically a credit uh, coming to the scenario a credential recovery workflow might uh, include questions and answers so whenever you forgot you will click this forgot password you will be redirected to, uh, to other web page where you have to answer few questions so question one and its answer question two and uh, its answer similarly so on so basically whenever you are creating an account you will be asked to few uh, no fill few questions and answers so if for example instance you forgot this password you can type those uh, answers and again re-login so this scenario is prohibited by NIST 863b and other controls as well so as questions and answers cannot be trusted for identity recovery those answers may be uh, may be known by one or more people for instance let's consider we have taken uh, a question which mentions that what is my pet name right let's say it's my pet name so most of the people who are living beside my household or my friends or so on they'll be knowing my uh, pet name so they can simply type in uh, those answer and simply they can log in or even let's say attacker who is my friend's friend or so on they can get the answer and they can simply log in uh, to my account so it's obvious that you know many of my friends knows uh, these answers similarly there are many answers which may be known to others and the account can be compromised so this is one of the scenario which was uh, mentioned in OWASP so let's check uh, the other scenario uh, for example let's say a cinema chain uh, allows a group of booking discounts and has a maximum of 15 attendees before requiring a deposit so let's say an attacker can uh, could use this uh, flow and then book hundreds and thousands of tickets without any deposit which may cause a huge loss for this company so this is the second scenario which is mentioned in uh, OWASP so these are the two scenarios which are mentioned in OWASP and I'll be keeping this uh, in the description for you to understand uh, more scenarios however let's take one final example uh, let's say I have uh, bought a house right okay let's say I have bought a right or let's take a new one so let's say I have bought a house right a big house <laughs> in which uh, I'm storing uh, lots of money so this is my bank here and I'm saying uh, oh, let's consider it has a bank instead of home okay so I have saved a lot of gold here okay and uh, here there is one security guard as well as a lot of locks so that no one no person can enter inside it in the night time okay so it's secured uh, it's 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 secure right and let's say there is a back door as well so in which whenever there is emergency they can just get out of this so let's consider it as emergency gate okay so using this design using this uh, particular architecture which was uh, designed before so using this uh, backdoor thief can enter so let's say i know that uh, there is a backdoor i can simply enter in the night and i can just take away take away all the gold which is there so this is one of the vulnerability 
which can be caused uh, in maybe your house or bank or so on so before constructing the house you need to make sure that it has been reviewed by experts similarly so how can you prevent uh, such insecure design vulnerability there are many such prevention methods which have been mentioned in OWASP website so if you click the insecure design okay I think my mind it is low okay so these are a few facts so these are some of the factors through which it has been secured fourth place so let's see the where is this how to prevent so these are few preventation methods through which you can use it in order to prevent such attacks so as you can see some of them are uh, establishing and use of a secure development life cycle with AppSec professionals to help evaluate and design security and privacy related controls and using threat model for security authentication access controls business logics and key for flows so these are some of the things which need to be implemented and uh, if you see we have also given uh, some of the map CWEs so let's select one of them so let's click uh, CW 2000 sorry 209 so software generates an error message that includes sensitive information about an environment uses and associated data so this is one of the CW through which uh, a sensitive information is revealed uh, with uh, with this particular vulnerability so you uh, by seeing this I remember uh, let's say for example uh, you use some uh, uh, some SQL injection commands here right let's say we have some uh, ID equal to and you'll just type something and whenever you use uh, such uh, uh, you know commands like instead of something let's try this one here I will use some SQL query so whenever I click enter I need to get error right so if I click enter obviously I'll be getting some error so it will be not redirecting me to some sensitive information where uh, it will be giving me as you can see here we have 404 uh, error which is not found sometimes whenever you use such uh, queries you'll be getting some sensitive information let's say I'll be getting uh, maybe database information right uh, where it will be mentioning what database it is using and uh, you know what version it is using so get, using some details we can escalate it further and we can get more information so yeah so just wanted to tell you about that I just remember right now and I'm just explaining you that so finally i hope you guys have understood the concept of today's video if you have uh, liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video